Hi guys, today you will see a basic video on manual robotics and this video is brought to you by Robotics Club of CEG. To do this, uh, these are the components required. This is a basic geared motor. It comes with 300 rpm 2kg torque. You need 4 such motors. And this is a 10 core rainbow wire. Uh, to do this, you need a minimum of 3 meter. This is a switch box. And these are the switches which we will be using to control our robot. You need two such switches. And this is a wheel. Uh, it comes with 7 cm diameter. There are also a lot of lot other uh, diameters available in the market. And this is called as a chassis which will form the body of our robot. This is a ready made one. It's custom. It's uh, available in the market. It comes with uh, 20 cm in length and 10 cm in width. Uh, you can also customize your own, mic, uh, your own chassis. You can get something like this. This is a mica. Uh, you can cut it along with your own specifications and drill. These are the clamps which we will be using. You can drill and place these clamps. Like this and attach your own motor which forms your own body. This is the battery. It, it's a 12 volt battery and 1 amp current rating. Let's see how to assemble the robot. Let's get started. In a similar way, assemble all the three motors, remaining three motors. And this is how our robot looks once it is assembled. Now let's see how to connect the motor. We will be using a four wheel drive mechanism. In this, the left side motor will be running in forward direction or backward direction. And same thing applicable for the right side motor too. This is done by means of coupling. Now let's see how to couple the motor. Connect this wire to a battery and check in which direction the motor rotates. Make a note of it. Similarly perform it for the other motor on left side. Now what we have to do is couple the two motors to which we have connected the positive supply of the battery such that it rotates in forward direction. And similarly for the other wire which was connected to the negative terminal of the battery. The same thing is done on the right side. Now as you can see we have only two wires for this side, another two wires for this side. So basically we have only four wires to control all these four motors. Now as said we have only two wires for this left side motor and two wires for right side motor. Depending upon the supply given to these two wires this motor, motor operates. Uh, now let us say if we give positive to this wire and negative to this wire this motor rotates in opposite direction. And if the polarity is reverse, the motor ro rotates in another other direction. Similarly for the right side motor. Now this is done by using a DPDT switch, which is double pole double throw switch. Now let's see how the switch works. This is the DPDT switch. As you can see this can be pressed two ways. This way and this way. It has six terminals, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. When you press it this way, terminal 3 and 1 gets connected and 4 and 2 gets connected. And when it is pressed down, this terminal 2 and terminal 5 gets connected and terminal 4 and terminal 6 get connected and this is how it's basically operate. Uh, now let's see how to connect this DPDT switch. This is how we connect the DPDT switch. The middle terminals are allotted for battery. Uh, so when the top, the switch is placed the top way. The top terminal and the middle terminal gets connected and the motor rotates in opposite direction. 
since as i tell, uh, said earlier if the bottom one is this way this way if it is pressed the motor has to rotate in opposite direction so for that the motor connections are reversed as you can see this terminal is connected to the last extreme and the right extreme terminal is connected to this left extreme terminal and the center terminal goes to battery this is how the dpdd switch is connected in order to avoid too many wires we have made a simple x connection connect either the top terminal or the bottom terminal to bat to left side motor and the center terminal goes to battery similarly perform another connection which which goes for the right side motor this is how our entire switch connection looks like as you can see uh, there are two these two wires which goes to the battery in order to avoid two more wires we have shorted this to the other switch and since this is our left left switch this gray and white color wire this goes to our left side motor similarly this red color and orange color wire this goes to our right side motor uh, while connecting this switch just make sure that uh, no wire is touching the other one just to avoid short and uh, over here just insulate all these wires now as you can see i have insulated all these wires uh, if i press this left side switch you see that these two motors rotates in forward direction and if i press the other way it rotates in opposite direction and similarly the right side switch once you assemble your robot just check whether your motor rotates in synchronized as i have shown it here now let's fix our wheels and see a demo of our robot uh, this is the four wheel drive mechanism in order to move our bot forward we have to press both these switches like this way in order to move it backwards it's the other way as you can see to make our bot turn we have to press one switch forward in top face and the other switch bottom face as you can see if we press it this way our bot turns to right and if it is other way it turns left if we press only one switch it turns it makes an arc turn in which one one wheel it is stationary and the other wheel moves and this is how it works it completes our manual robot Hope you all enjoyed watching the video. Feel free to post your comments or queries. Don't forget to subscribe this channel Robotics Robots CG. See you soon on another video. Bye.